Okay, so question number three, practice paper C, IAL P2, um, Pure Maths 2. Question about circles. Here we are given a equation of a circle in this form, x squared plus y squared minus 4x plus 8y minus 8 equals 0. We have to find the coordinates of the center of the circle and the exact radius of C. So basically I have to make this circle into the form x minus a squared plus y minus b squared equals r squared and the center of the circle is going to be a b okay the basically what makes this bracket zero then the y value that makes this bracket zero and the radius is going to be r which is a square root of what's left on the other side so how do i do that well i use completing the square so let's write write this with the x squared and the x next to each other so x squared minus 4x plus y squared plus 8y and i'll just add 8 to get to get rid of that 8 from this side and then i can complete the square so i'm going to have a square bracket with the x put a minus because there's a minus there a half of just the coefficient which is going to be 2. now if i square this i'm going to get x squared minus 4x plus 4. i don't want the plus 4 so i've got to take away 4. and similarly for this i'm going to have a square bracket i'm going to put y plus half the coefficient which is going to be 4. Now that's going to give me y squared plus 8y minus, sorry, plus 16. I've got to, I don't want the plus 16, so I've got to take away 16. So that gives me minus 16 equals 8. So I've now got, um, I want to get rid of these constants. So I'm going to, this is like minus 20. So I add 20 to both sides. So I have x minus 2 squared plus y plus 4 squared is equal to 8 plus 20, which is 28. So now I've got it in the form that I need. So the center of the circle, the center of the circle will therefore be the x value that makes this bracket zero, which is x equals two, and the y value that makes this bracket zero, which is y equals minus four. That's the center, and the radius is gonna be the square root of what's left on the other side, which is the square root of 28, which I'm going to give in its simplified said form, which you really should do which is what number goes into 28? Four sevens are 28. So this is going to be two root seven, two times root seven, because this is the same as root four times root seven. Okay, root four times root seven gives me two root seven. Okay, so there's the radius and there's the center. Okay, so this is the answer to part A. All right, part B. Okay, now for part B, um, it says here, the straight line with equation x equals k where x is a constant is a tangent to c find the possible values for k now this is a question which could we could make it really complicated and answer this question or we could make it look make it very simple okay because x equals k is a vertical line so if we use our imagination a bit and we actually make a sketch which is really something that's advisable to do in these kind of questions making a sketch it might seem for some people that oh why are we doing this is there any benefit but sometimes it makes a question a whole lot simpler than it would be if you just try to deal with it purely algebraically because x equals k is just a vertical line okay so if you think about it this circle has a center at 2 minus 4 2 minus 4 okay so that's 2 and that's minus 4 so that's the point where the center is all right, and its radius is two root seven. Okay, so it's bigger than two, two times root seven. So if you think about two root seven, it's, what value is that? Two root seven, it gives you something like 5.29. So it's bigger than two. So we know it's gonna go, definitely gonna go on that side a bit. So I'm not making this an accurate diagram, but just, I know it's gonna go that way a bit right now. We're not sure exactly, but no problem. Um, if we think about this now, okay, let's think about this. Say, yeah, say that's your x-axis, and that's your y-axis, sorry, that's your y-axis, that's your x-axis, and that's your origin, and that's the center of the circle. Now, it says that the equation x equals k where x is a constant now x equals k is basically a vertical line going through x on the um going through k on the x-axis 
So basically, for it to be a tangent to the circle, there's two possible values for it. There's two possible places where it's going to be tangent. One is here. One is at this point here. Let me draw it straighter. Okay, one is at this point about here. It's not coming out very straight anyway. Um, that's one place where it could be a tangent. And the other place is over here. On this side. Okay, so there's another place where it's possibly going to be a tangent. Okay, and we know that the distance between um, the center of the circle, okay, the distance between the center and the circle and this point is the radius of the circle, and the distance between the center of the circle and that point is the radius of the circle. So it's very easy for us to find the value of, this is one possible value of k, and this is another possible value of k. So it's quite simple for us to find. Okay, let me just get rid of this. Okay, so we know that the center of the circle is 2, 0. Okay, sorry, 2 minus 7, 2 minus 4. This is 2 minus 4. So the x value is 2. And I know that this length is the radius of the circle. And the radius was 2 times root 7. So we can say that the value of k1 is going to be 2 minus 2 root 7. That will be the value of k1. 2 minus the radius and the value of k2 is going to be 2 plus the radius 2 plus 2 root 7 so that's a really simple way of, of dealing with this question uh, you can see it's only worth two marks so it's not something that requires um, anything more complicated you could also answer it algebraically by putting x equals k into this equation or even the this equation and rearranging it to make y, um, you know, in terms of y. And then, because uh, then you'll have to try to basically show that there's only one solution. So you could use the discriminant. There's only one solution to the equation. So you'll have b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0. And then um, there will be two, you'll end up with a quadratic with k in it. And you'll have an equation. And you'll end up with one value of k is 2 minus 2 root 7. The other one is 2 plus 2 root 7. And that's a whole lot more complicated than just doing this, which you see is only worth two marks. And making a little sketch of your uh, of your diagram is something that really does try it does help you to picture what's happening. So I always would advise you to make a sketch if you want to take a compass with you into the exam to make drawing a circle a bit easier. If you're a bit messy drawer, then that's fine. Okay, so that's uh, my advice for this type of question. Look at the number of marks. First, if it's like worth five or six marks, you probably think, oh, there's going to be some algebra involved, um, you know, discriminant and all that. But if it's worth two marks, stop for a second, think, hold on, maybe you can do this in a simpler way. Okay, so that's question number three. Um, was there a part C to this? No. Okay, so that's question number three done.